We've been talking about the art of acting, and our discussion led with one of the most important theatrical devices associated with the art of theater, the dramatic mask. In the last section, we discussed how the mask began as a physicalization of the process of acting. Eventually, the mask was rarely used, but the spirit of an actor taking on a persona has remained to this day. We also talked about the pioneering work of the Russian actor and director Konstantin Stanislavsky. His work moved the art of theater toward a more truthful and artistic approach to the art of acting. In this section, we will take a look at how this approach caught on in the United States and how it still influences the art of acting in America today. Stanislavski's revolutionary approach to acting began during the late 19th century. Word of the effects of this new acting approach, as displayed by his company, the Moscow Art Theater, spread across the world and was being adopted by the Western world. It had its most significant impact in the United States when, in the late 1920s, a young director by the name of Harold Klerman, while visiting Paris, saw a production by the Moscow Art Theater and was inspired to begin a theater movement in New York based on Stanislavski's ideals. He studied the approach to acting that Stanislavski outlined in his books, An Actor Prepares and Building a Character. Clearman began holding meetings in his New York apartment and shared his passion for the kind of theater Stanislavski was creating and began to gather a following. In 1931, Clearman, along with two other young theater artists, Lee Strasberg and Cheryl Crawford, began the group theater. The Young Dreamers brought a group of actors and directors to a ranch in Brookfield, Connecticut that summer, and there they trained in the manner prescribed by Stanislavski. When the group returned to New York, they produced the Mark Green play, The House of Connolly. With this production, the group theater had launched a new kind of acting in America. Lee Strasberg had taken the work of Stanislavski and made it palpable for Americans. He called his special approach to Stanislavski's teachings the method. Even today, there are actors who are referred to as method actors because of their obsessive attention to the detail of their characters' inner lives. It is this special attention to the inner life of the character that made the method approach to acting unique to the playgoers of that time. The group theater had a tumultuous ten-year existence before they disbanded in 1941. Their legacy and the impact they had on American theater is undeniable. Lee Strasberg began his own theater school, which he called the Actors Studio. The Actors Studio is still in existence today. In fact, the television series Inside the Actors Studio with James Lipton takes place in the very school that Strasberg founded. The Actors Studio trained some of America's most respected actors. Such well-known actors as Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, Sissy Spacek, Dustin Hoffman, Julia Roberts, Jane Fonda, Sally Field, and Mickey Rourke all got their start at the actor's studio. So what is it about Stanislavski's approach to acting that changed the face of modern theater? The approach is deceptively simple in many ways but it's an approach to the art of acting that all actors spend their entire lifetime perfecting. We'll take a close look at this approach to acting in our next section. For now, go to your task for this section and complete. When we come back, we'll take a look at the method acting approach. <laughs>